we will discuss fixed point iteration method for solving equations of the form fx is equal to 0 here. So in this method, we will rewrite the equation fx is equal to 0 in the form x is equal to gx. And then we will choose an initial approximation x0 and then x1 will be found by using the formula g of x0. So in this one, we will substitute x by x0 and then it will get x1. And then x2 will be evaluated by using the substitution g of x1. So here this x1 will be substituted here again and like that it goes till you get the same value in two successive iterations. So in general we can write this as xn plus 1 is equal to g of xn. This is the formula we will be using in fixed point iteration method for finding solution of the equation fx is equal to 0. So I will explain this one with this example. Suppose we have to find out solution of f of x, x cube plus x minus 1 equal to 0 that lies near x is equal to 1. So this is our initial approximation. So x naught is 1 in this problem. So first step, you rewrite this equation in the form x is equal to gx. So now the easiest method is I can write it as x is equal to I can take these two to the right hand side. So you can write 1 minus x cube. So this is our gx. This is gx. And now if x0 is 1, suppose x0 is 1, and then x1 will be 1 minus this 1 cube. That is x1 will be g of x0. So you can substitute here this 1 here, you will get 0. And then x2 will be g of x1. Substitute this 0 there, you will get 1. And x3 will be 0 like that. It oscillates between 1 and 0. It is not converging anywhere. I'll explain why this happened at the end of this lecture. So now, if you are getting like this, what you can do is, you can find out another gx from here. You can rearrange this one in some other way. So now this fx, x cube plus x minus 1 equal to 0. I can write this in this form also. x into x square plus 1 minus 1 equal to 0. Therefore, x will be equal to 1 by x square plus 1. This is another expression for x. So now I will take this as gx. So this is my gx now. And x naught is 1. Okay, so now x1 is g of x1. So x1 is, g, sorry, g of x0. That is, you substitute here, that is 1 by 1, plus 1 square plus 1. So you will get 1 by 2, that is 0 0.5. And now x2 will be g of x1. So now this is equal to 1 by 0.5 square plus 1. So you will get this as 0 0.8. And now you can find out x3 by evaluating g of x2 that is 0.61 and like that now it goes. So you have to stop, you can stop this procedure when you are getting same values in two successive approximation. So in this problem you will get answer in the 15th step that is the problem with this iteration method. It is very lengthy, but you have to find out that many uh, approximations. So now here x3 is 0 0.61 and now x4 is 0 0.729 and x5 is 0.653 and s6 is 0 0.701. And x7 is 0 0.671 like that. You see here you are getting 629. Then it decreases. Again it increases. But decreases like that. That's okay. But 
it is going to converge from this value you can guess that or you can infer that it is going to converge and then calculating like this in x14 you will get 0.6827 and x15 you will get it as 6.0.6821 and x16 you will get 0.6824 you see in the 15th and 16th approximations three decimal places are equal so you can stop the procedure and now you can write solution of this equation is 0.6824 okay, or you can take it as 0.682. So now we will examine why this procedure converges in this case and doesn't converge in this case. So then I am going to evaluate derivative of this one that is g dash x g dash x is minus 3 x square and modulus of g dash x naught that is equal to 3 in this case this is greater than 1 so if modulus of g dash x naught is greater than 1 this fixed point iteration method will not converge so then in a problem after choosing one g of x, you have to find out modulus of g dash x naught and you have to check whether it is less than 1 or greater than 1. If it is greater than 1, then rearrange this one in some other way and find another gx. Now, I will find out the modulus of g dash x naught in this case also. So, here this is our gx. Therefore, g dash x is equal to minus 2x by x square plus 1, the whole square. And now, modulus of g dash x naught, that is equal to modulus of 2 by 1 plus 1, that is 2 square, that is 2 by 4, that is equal to 1 by 2. This is less than 1. So, if modulus of g dash x naught is less than 1 it may converge it may not converge actually there is a chance that it may not converge but it may converge so if you are finding that g dash x naught is less than 1 you proceed with this gx and with this x naught if you are uh, getting a converging value then that is the answer if you are seeing that it is not converging or it is going to diverge then find out another gx. So if it is higher order polynomials, there is more number of cases. But you have to check this one. You have to find out gx and you have to check this condition and then find out the successive approximations. Now to conclude, I will explain the working procedure for this fixed point iteration method. First, you have to rewrite this fx is equal to 0 in the form x is equal to gx and then choose a value as an initial approximation then evaluate g dash x then evaluate modulus of g dash x naught if it is less than 1 then find out successive approximations by using the formula xn plus 1 is equal to g of xn. If it is not less than 1, rewrite the given equation in some other form and then write another value for g of x. Again, you check this condition if the modulus of g dash x naught is less than 1 or not. If it is less than 1, you can proceed. Still, if it is not less than 1, you find out another value for g of x. The problem with fixed point iteration method is that it is too long. So you will get final answer sometimes after 15 or 20 steps. And sometimes all g of x will not work.